My name is James Bonanno, and I am joined by filmmaker, video editor extraordinaire, Josh Quillen. And I just want to go over a lot of the stuff that I've just learned over the last some amount of years of doing this and share some tips and tricks and things that I've learned. I have a whole notebook of shortcuts. A little tip, if you ever want something to be like quick access in your bin structure, just throw an underscore in front of it and it just is always at the top. What A-roll generally is, is your main footage. So in our case, that's the main interview. B-roll would be close-ups of everything, right? Anything that is something I can cut to. I would classify drone footage as like C-roll, maybe wide shots, time lapses, aerial stuff, that kind of thing. None of these naming conventions are hard rules. By the way, like all of this is just do it the way you want. Just be organized. The A cam B roll is here, cut down into whatever clips I want to use. And then I have the B roll cam. This is all of the iPhone footage here, completely cut down. Interviews, simple. If you have multiple interviews, title your interview, put it in the interviews folder. Pretty easy. I do have a color correction tip that will possibly change people's lives. So. <laughs> A cam, B cam, underscore what the camera is, underscore the color codec. This is super important uh, when it comes to color correction. Right click on your clip, go to modify, interpret footage. The very, very bottom, color management, color space override. I know that this is Sony S-Log3 S Cine Gamut, or S Gamut 3 Cine, whatever it's called, right? I know what that, that's what I shot. Click OK, ready, and bam, colored. Wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Here's a good example of the way I color stuff. If I have used the clip, I mean, if I pulled B-roll from it, it is green. Ah. If it's good content, but I didn't pull any of it for one reason or another, it's yellow. If it's red, it's a bad clip. Something happened, gotcha. somebody tripped, somebody fell, somebody's cursing, saying something, whatever it is, this is an unusable clip, don't use it. You see here under label, if you right click hit label, I actually have labeled used, bad, and unused. Mm, mm. Right there, which is cool. just green, yellow, and red. If you click on any one of these uh, window areas and just hit the little tilde key, tilde is full screen. The little keyboard shortcut, since we're here, if I had this selected in and out, I can drag it. If I hold control, that's gonna ripple everything down. If I press period, it's going to insert. If I press comma, it's gonna ripple insert. Awesome. When I ripple inserted, all my markers move. If you go up to markers, scroll down, ripple sequence markers, make sure that's checked. Ah, uh, okay. I was gonna just ask you that because that sort of just blew my mind a little bit, but that's so <laughs> helpful. <laughs> yeah. What I do is I remap in keyboard shortcuts, the DEL, the delete key to ripple delete. Ah. So as you're going through an editing, let's say this was an interview and this was a part of the interview that somebody went, um, uh, and you want to cut that out, you just make a cut, make a cut, hit delete. You can use this keyboard shortcut and I believe this is forward slash, right? It's the one above the enter and below the, the back key. If you hit okay. that, it's going to pop to your time, the entire timeline. Ah, wow. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this up, but we're gonna pancake it. Yeah. Yeah, so for those who are curious, this is pancaking timelines. This is your best friend, uh, especially when working with a lot of B-roll. First thing you should always do when creating a sequence is label your tracks. Dear God, label your tracks yep. and keep yep. things organized Riff. right there. Did you hear there's like a pop? Shift D, we'll get a crossfade and just make it really small. That should help that. And so there's okay. no, there's no, um, way to do that to an entire timeline of interview cuts because that's you know there, naturally going to happen there, or there is okay do it once copy it so i highlighted it okay Let's zoom out using our forward slash so if you hold control and drag you can select every single trans arrow cut point control v paste and now it's on every single oh my god cut. wow <laughs> Wow, that was the best shortcut I've seen in my life. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Josh, so much for coming on here. Yeah. It was an absolute blast. Take care, guys. See ya.